We have reached the service itself. The Western Wall is the biggest Jewish synagogue in the world. There isn't a Jew who doesn't feel something upon arriving here. For hundreds of years, Jews have constantly been praying here. When you arrive at the Western Wall, the service will be held here, at the Prayer Plaza. Here in Wilson's Arch, you'll be able to find hundreds of prayer books according to different customs, translated into different languages. In order to pray at the Western Wall, you don't need us. Anyone can take a podium, like this one, and pray according to any Jewish custom. It's possible to pray the full length of the service, or to do a shorter version, praying the central prayers, the Shema, the silent Amida, and the Torah reading. It's customary to hold the prayers in a minyan, a group of at least 10 men. There are parts of the prayers that cannot be said without a minyan, the cantor's repetition to the silent Amida, and the Torah reading. If you don't have 10 men, it's always possible to ask others that are in the prayer plaza to join you and complete the minyan. Sometimes there are people that come to the Western Wall, offer to help families with the prayers, and then ask for a fee for this service. In order to prevent an unpleasant situation, we highly recommend to verify that the people helping you are from the Western Wall Heritage Foundation that will help you free of charge. Please take into account that everybody wants to hold the prayers next to the women's section. It's not possible to reserve a podium until the prayers begin. In case of rain or extreme heat, the prayers enter here into Wilson's Arch. In recent years, the arch has undergone massive renovations. As you can see, there's a new women's section. The entrance to the women's section is through the Western Wall Tunnel. Please be patient until all the female members of your family are allowed inside without exceeding the maximum number of people. This is done for your own safety.